Good morning, it's Larry Eater, and we're going to talk about why the Doha Diamond League meet was a fantastic way to open up the 2016 track season. Um, I was in Doha for a week from the 2nd or 3rd of May, it's all a blur right now, till the 7th of May. The meet was on May 6th. Um, I came in with a group of media from around the world to cover the meet. Um, there's a group called Laurel Media who puts on the PR and communications and they had great press conferences for us. Why do you care about this? Because without the press conferences and my chance of interviewing athletes, we can't do stories. We had access to everybody. We talked to the hurdlers, David Oliver, Omar McLeod, and Hensley Parchment. But my favorite interview is with Tori Bowie. Uh, it was Nicholas Herbalo from Lake Keep and myself. We requested uh, Tori, and Tori spoke with us for about uh, 20 or 30 minutes. What came through in Tori's interview, and we've talked to her before, was that she is understanding what Coach Brownman has been telling her about becoming a student of the event. And she had told us, ironically, that she's starting to look at video of herself and other athletes, which is something a lot of people do. But it hadn't been something Tori has done. Tori also told us in the pre-event interview how proud she was of her start and the improvements she had made on it and that other athletes better watch out. Well, on Friday night at the meet, it came down to uh, Tori Bowie and Daphne Schiffers. Daphne Sch Schiffers is the world champion at 200 meters and uh, Daphne got out very, very well. Tori got out surprisingly well. Afterwards, Tori said it was the best start she's had in her career. Daphne just booms down the track, and the former heptathlete at 40 meters was leading slightly as Tori Bowie came alongside her. But what was the moment of Larry for me was between 40 and 90 meters. It looked from my seats like they were neck and neck. And they're two totally disparate athletes in the way that they run. Um, Tori runs very, very straight up. Um, um, Daphne just has a way about her that exudes strength and exudes speed. At about 90 meters, Daphne started to lean 10 meters, uh, meters before the finish. That's when Tori flew by her. And Tori won 10.80 to 10.83. For Tori, it was equal to her best time of her life. For Daphne, it was the second best time of her life, and that's starting the 2016 season. Why is that important? My belief is they will be two of the three athletes we will see battling in Rio for the medals. Watch Tori Bowie, watch Daphne Schiffers. They both have got it going, coming from very different places. Raina Ryder is the coach for Daphne Schiffers, and Lance Brahman is the coach for Tori Bowie. They're both coaches at the best of their game, and they've got wonderful athletes. And if both of these athletes listen to their coaches, that's a big thing, that word listen, you're going to see some fantastic races between now and Rio. For Larry Eater with Run Blog Run TV, signing off.